so at the moment my pilot power pens haven't been cleaned in a while because I usually just change the cartridge over and then blend the two inks together so in this pen there's an empty cartridge but what was once blue I would normally just take that out and fit a new one in straight away so I'd maybe fit an orange one and then the leftover residual ink in this part of the pen would then bleed slightly into the orange cartridge and while the ink was flowing through it would blend from blue to orange on the paper as I write and I've been doing that for a while it works really well with similar colours such as blue and purple and you'll get a really nice light turquoise blended into a dark deep purple um, however I'm gonna clean this nib today and I thought I'd film it to, to show you all how to do it so first of all you Remove the cartridge just by pulling gently. Make sure there's not any extra ink in it, otherwise it'll spill everywhere. Pop that in the bin or to one side. So in your Pilot pen packaging, you should receive this pipette. So, example on this. If you dip it into water and squeeze it, it sucks up a lot of water, which you can then squeeze back out. So before I start pushing the water through the nib, you can see it's quite dirty. Um, so I'm just going to give it a quick wipe with water on the outside of the nib. So I'm just using an old rag to do this, but you can use kitchen paper. Um, but I find rags work better because the fibres don't come off and stick in the pen metal. So there's quite a lot seeping through still, through there. You also receive this in your pilot package. So this is just a slot very, like through the nib. So you can clean all the excess ink and dry ink between there. You can see loads has come off there already. So we'll use that more later. Um, now what you can do is just fit the pipette into the top of the pen nib, like so. Push down and it'll just jolt in. And then you can just dip the nib in the paper and squeeze. You see all the ink coming out. There's quite a lot of excess ink in there. It looks really cool from this angle if you if you do this in a clear glass. And just remove the camera so you can see. So back to this, I probably squeezed quite a lot of the ink out now. And this is the point where you would empty and refill this water. So I'm just going to pop that to one side on the rag. Okay, nice clear water. So a lot of the ink has been pressed through, but you can see it's still quite dirty inside. So usually what I do is run it under running water and get the water all the way through there, but I'm just going to... Can you see that? I just pick up some water in the pipette and then squeeze it through the nib. Just squeezes that extra bit of excess ink.
This is where you can use the thin piece of plastic again to separate those parallel nibs and cleaning between them. I always try and tap it out to get any extra water drops that are stuck inside. Just tapped out, which makes the inside of the nib a bit drier. Now can, you can repeat this process again, empty the water with clean one until it runs clear all the way through. So I'm just going to do it a few more times. It's almost running clear now. It's just a very, very pale blue. Cool, I'm going to leave it at that and then dry this nib out again. Sometimes what I've done is put a cartridge straight back in without letting it dry properly and it does let the ink kind of seep through and make it a bit watery, which can be a good effect if that's what you're after. Um, but I'm going to leave this to dry out properly, which is better in the long run for the longevity of the pen. Make sure you've got a clean work surface just in case any ink does spill. Don't want to ruin your work. So once this is dry, I can pop it all back together, refit it with a cartridge. Um, so yeah, that is the basics of how to clean it. Some people do like to completely um, deconstruct the nib, so you can take all these pieces apart, but I generally tend not to. So yeah, if you want to do a proper deep clean, that's what you can do.